Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I know this video is interesting, honey, because I did. I increased my credit score by 100 points in three freaking months. What? <laughs> what? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Um, now, am I going to say is it possible for everybody? No. No, I'm not saying that at all. But it could be, ha it could happen for you just like it happened for me. So I'm here to share my five tips on how I increased my credit score within three months, honey. Three months. Three months. <laughs> yes. If you feel this video is wonderful and good information and you were like, yes, I got that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, please like the video. It is greatly appreciated. I sure appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone else will appreciate it when they are able to find my video because you liked it. Because you did it. Because you did it. Okay, and please subscribe and share if you feel like this is great information. So without further ado, here are the ways I, the five steps, I increase my credit score by a hundred points in three freaking months. Well, this is the step one before the step one. The f I would say step zero is you know, you probably want to apply for something. You probably looked at your credit score and was like, ugh, gross. And that's exactly what I did. I finally became an adult, okay? I am a millennial, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna be adulting today. And <laughs> I decided to take a good look at my credit score, and I was disgusted. And for a while, to be honest with you, I didn't want to do anything about it because I was just so sad on how my actual credit score was that I just felt like maybe I'll just ignore it and it'll go away. It got worse. My credit score was in the 500s. It's embarrassing to even discuss that with you. It's so embarrassing. I think it was like actually 500 exact. It was so bad. Um, and now my credit score is in the mid sixes, like 645 or something. I am trying to get to that 700 club and hopefully you could come along with me. So the first thing I did was I decided to pull my annual credit report. Um, you are allowed to get one free annual credit report a year. Um, um, it, you, it's the law, honey. You can, you are able to get your credit report once a year from all three bureaus. Um, so what I did is I went on annual, I think it's annualcreditreport.com. I'll link it below um, and that way you can just click on it and just go to it. Um, but yeah, so I got my free credit report for some reason. They wouldn't let me pull my credit report online as a PDF. Um, they were giving me a hard time trying to ask me about where my mama was born, where my daddy was born, where all this craziness. Um, I had to call customer service more than once because to me, it's like, you better give me my credit report and stop playing with me, okay? So <laughs> I finally got my credit report sent to me by mail. Okay, and what you have to do is you have to skim through that credit report and look at every single little negative thing in there that you are able to dispute. Now, the gag is, is the gag is you are is true or not, honey, I'm still disputing it. <laughs> Prove to me that was me, okay? Cause I can't. <laughs> so I would definitely go through it and see what you're able to dispute and what um, you, you know, what you can what you can do honey and just go through that with a fine tooth comb um and then what i would do and this is what i did do um is step two is i made sure that i created some really good letters to send out to the bureaus okay i collected their information because their contact information is on the bottom of the credit report so i created some really good letters and i'm going to give you a secret tip 
okay, in this video on making sure your letters are read by the, uh, by the credit bureaus, okay? I wrote them by hand. So, a lot of people don't know this, but the credit bureaus has something called eOscar system. Okay, the eOscar system is an automated system that funnels through, um, um, it like it funnels through like a bunch of letters and stuff. If you are writing this letter on like Microsoft Word, do you know how many other people are writing it on Microsoft Word as well? A lot. Okay, so I would just uh, write it out by hand because if you write it out by hand, the computer system is not going to be able to read it um, or just will have a really hard time reading it, spit it out, and it will force a human being to actually read your letter. Um, so I would not care about my penmanship when I'm doing this. You write that letter as funky as you possibly can, bad penmanship at all. Uh, why? <laughs> because nobody else is going to be able to read that but a human if 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 a human is able to read it just make sure um the areas you want disputed are more clearly written than the other fluff around it so um yeah i would definitely advise you to write it by hand that is a trick i will provide you with some good letter uh templates uh to help you actually write your letter um so i will link that below um but even though it's a template and it's written on microsoft word can you just write it out do not send that through microsoft word because because it it's just gonna go through the funneling system and it's just gonna be kicked out as frivolous and if you use a template online that a lot of other people because you imagine you know how many other people are looking up like um credit repair templates a lot so <laughs> if you're using a template just be mindful that um you know that template is more is unique or change the words around a little bit you know because if you're using it other people are using it and if the credit the e oscar system sees it they're just going to be like oh we've seen this a hundred million times it's frivolous kick it out and you don't want that to happen okay so hmm. hope that helps number three okay did we do number two already that was number two that was number two. Getting your annual credit card is number one. Writing it out is number two. Number three, honey, is... So number three is letters, right? So when you're sending out your letters, it's really important that you send it out um, um, certified mail because you wanna make sure somebody signed for it. You don't want that letter to get lost. You don't want them to say that they didn't receive it. That is what we're trying to work at here is you don't, you ain't gonna tell me that you did not receive that letter. Okay, because <laughs> I know you received it because <laughs> you signed for it. And also what that does, it creates a countdown. They have 30 days to respond to this letter, y'all. 30 days okay so if they don't respond in 30 days at that point whatever you were telling them to do they need to do because um it is against the law for them to take over 30 days to uh to basically give you an answer on whatever your quest is so please do it certified mail and certify where you get that little green card back in the mail showing that they signed please do not send it out any other way okay number four number four is to re-up on your disputes once you get that letter back saying we have verified this information where <laughs> where did you verify this information you can't just send me a letter back telling me we verified your information and that's it okay i need receipts um i want to know who you verified it from i need to know the name of that person that was verified it. i need to see documents with my signature on it i need to know that this actually exists and you didn't just write me oh uh, uh information verified um excuse no no way i want to see the receipts verified 
um, ex no. <laughs> so if you get a letter in the mail saying that your information was verified, ask them for receipts. So you do a follow-up letter and you send it in the mail, okay, certified mail, and be like, um, I need receipts. I need uh, my wet signature saying that I verified this. I need to know who verified it. I need the phone number of who verified. You ask them for every damn thing on the planet. You can ask them for a damn sandwich. They have to show up and, and, and make it happen and give you these this information. And if they don't, they have to do what you tell them to do. They have to get rid of it. They have to get rid of that collection or whatever, okay? And you know, don't worry about it. Don't be like, oh, I'm bothering them. I'm scared. Tony, do not be scared. They have to do this. This is the law, okay? So please ask them how they verify their information. Don't just allow them to be like, I verified it and they can just move on because that's what they do. That's how they get you. Okay, they all do that. They all say it's verified. You really don't even start seeing like stuff actually falling off until like the second or third dispute. You really gotta bother them and you gotta be consistent. Like after those 30 days is up, boom, another one. Step uh, five is actually really important. Make sure it's every 30 days. So if you're following up with them, don't do it more than once a, uh, in the same month because they're gonna say that's frivolous like you're harassing them or whatever, even though they'd be ha harassing you. But anyway, um, they're gonna say it's frivolous. So don't, um, don't, uh, don't do follow-ups within the same 30 days. Do it after the 30 days. Keep doing it as a 30-day cycle, okay? Um, so I would definitely attack collections first. That weighs a lot. Um, then after that, we can start focusing on late payments. I am going to do another video uh, coming soon on a little bit more in detail of how um, you actually like do the disputes and what to do first and for what particular type of disputes. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the comment section. Those were my five tips on how I increased my credit score by 100 points, okay? So those tips are gold, okay? So if you really follow them, it definitely will increase your uh, credit score. I don't know by how many points. For me, it was a lot of points because it wasn't looking good, <laughs> but for you, it might be a little because your credit score isn't at that. So um, I hope that helped. Please like and subscribe if you feel like this information was really good for you. And please follow me on social media, um, Facebook and Instagram. I don't necessarily use my Twitter, so I do have a Twitter, but I guess if you tweet me, I'll tweet back. But I would prefer if it was like Facebook and Instagram, you know. So <laughs> I hope that that helped. Um, also, I am a real estate agent, so I do help a lot of clients with this. If you are looking to buy a home, I will be putting up a, a video on credit score and home buying and what you should do. Um, so please continue to follow me. And thank you so much for joining this conversation, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.